Hey everybody, Irish Guy JG, aka Jesse is here. I just am so I'm so grateful and I'm so happy and I'm so honestly just blown away by your guys' support. Con continued support and likes and the comments and there's a few of you that just comment on every darn video and I just I just man, it gives me so much inspiration to keep going and to keep doing this and to keep keep moving forward. I will <clears throat> be honest with you guys. Uh, I've been doing this, I started this channel, I've had this channel for years and years and years and years, but I did not never made videos, and I just started making videos about six months ago, roughly, and I've been doing it straight, almost, you know, probably at least, on average, one a day, if you average them out, and, um, you know, it can, sometimes it can be, uh, it's, sometimes I look at it as a responsibility, sometimes I look at it as a, you know, I better do this because I got people that depend on my message, and and sometimes I'm drawn to it, do it by God. Sometimes the Holy Spirit leads me right to, to right, where where I need to go and what I need to say. But um, and I don't want this to sound in any way like <clears throat> this channel is a hindrance to me at all, because it's not. It just gets to be sometimes it gets to be overwhelming to try and keep up with everybody and to make sure to put on a happy face and and to, to do all that I need to do to keep the channel moving and, and go, growing and, and going forward because I know the messages can get repetitive. It's it's recovery or it's Bible or it's recovery or it's Bible. And then, you know, I don't come on very much and share much of my personal stuff. I do here and there, especially because of the prepping stuff because I wanted to get your guys' ideas about our list. But um, I had a I had a sort of a hard summer, a uh, hard lesson learned this summer when uh, I got some pretty unfortunate emails from people telling me every which thing in every which way, and I, I started getting them again this last month, and uh, just a couple, but it it was just enough to just uh, make me second guess what I'm doing on this channel. But God is bringing me back to this channel, and He's bringing me back to what I need to be doing, and that's providing some sort of help some sort of uh, a solution to what we as believers and people who are in recovery are struggling with. So what we are struggling with is a world that is terrible, full of sin, full of non-believers and full of worldly things that that like to try and get their claws into us. But we as believers are, are seeing a lot of change. We're seeing a lot of people uh, make trying to make us do things that we don't want to do which is the epitome of, of a power grab um, unless there's obviously some more to it than that than just the power grab but we're seeing a lot of unfortunate things and so I want to make sure that this channel is something that provides somebody uh, even if it's myself honestly some sort of inspiration to keep on moving uh, onward and upward in the body of Christ in recovery in sobriety in with my family with my kids it gets hard you guys it gets tough all a lot of you guys have kids a lot of you guys have jobs a lot of you guys have uh, uh, way more responsibility than I would ever have so we all face it together and when we're doing stuff together as a body of Christ and as one as a whole we can really start to help each other and that's what I want this channel to do I want to make sure that I'm focused on whatever I'm not gonna ramble on too much but I just wanted to tell you guys that you know, it. I've accepted the responsibility of starting this channel, and I'm not gonna just, just give it up. I'm not gonna just quit, and I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. I'm not a quitter. Um, the things that I've quit in my life, I hope that I've quit forever, and I'll never have to quit them again. But I don't like quitting things two, three, four times. I'm just not a quitter. I just don't do that. And I think that's what's been distilled in me since I was very young, is. Um, do you I've seen so many people in my life fail I've seen I've seen so many of my higher ups people in my life my um, people that I don't know I've just seen a lot of failure in my in, in my early days and that kind of made me stick to my guns about being somebody who can be dependable somebody who does a good job somebody that does things with integrity um, and 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 you know measure twice cut once kind of guy or measure three times cut once kind of guy I don't like to go back and I don't want to I don't want to have to say I, I'm sorry so those are the things that I've kind of relied upon in my life that have haven't failed me very often I mean obviously I fail and I have to say I'm sorry all the time but I don't I don't it doesn't encompass me and it doesn't it doesn't define who I am you know 
So I hope that this channel provides something for somebody out there. And I really hope that what, what my message is isn't too stale. And I really hope that it isn't too diluted with my own um, thoughts and my own uh, you know, views and beliefs. And But you know what? I have, I have an important... We all have an important destination to make. We all have a, a road map to life. We all know the roads and the avenues and the, the by streets and the highways and the byways to take. But I would, I would, I would think that being a Christian, <clears throat> I used to be an underground utility locator. And so with that, I had to pull up a map. I had to know where the lines were in, on, through a map. And then I would go out and physically locate the lines with my tools. So before I even got out of my, my company vehicle to go out and to look for these underground utilities, which was power and gas, phone, cable, <clears throat> that sort of thing, before I even went out and did, the, did these, it was a lot of responsibility. Uh, I had to be certified in the state and had to have to go through all kinds of tests. And when I was doing this, I would get a, I would get a early view of what underground looked like on my map. But those maps aren't always right. Those maps don't always tell us what we need to know like within a couple inches. So we have to go out and actually look. We have to actually go out with our, with our, with our tools that are in our toolbox and find that physical line and know that you're right on top of it and then put a mark and a flag. So, it's, so there's redundancy there. So there's a mark and a flag so people know right where that line is. So when the next guy comes in to do the next part of the job, they're not hitting it and blowing up a neighborhood or sending their, their you know, three ton bobcat you know, 100 yards that way because they hit a gas line or a power line or something like that. So it's just a, it's just a little analogy of what I would think that being, being a Christian and being a believer and especially being in recovery, we can look at the map and we can think we have it all figured out, but we really need to honestly get out there with our tools and look, look, look for what God's leaving us and look for the trail and to make marks for other people so the next person can come and say, oh, okay, that's how that's done or that's where that's at or that's, you know, so I don't read a lot in the Bible during the week. I do them with my daily readings, but I, I, I want to focus on reading God's word too. And I know the views go down and the likes go down and everything goes down when I seem to incorporate any kind of biblical teachings or or wisdom or readings into my channel, the all that stuff goes down. So, but I just don't even care about that. So that's why I'm saying is I want you guys to have these markers that people can come across to look and say, oh, this guy was able to do it because of this reasons, or this guy kept doing it because, you know, God gave him the faith. And so that inspires me to do it because I know God's going to give me the faith. Because sometimes we, we, <laughs> sometimes we have to have a little faith. You have to step out, out of your comfort zone and you have to figure out what's, you have to figure out what you have inside you to get out there and to do God's work because it ain't easy. And, 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 and God has everybody learning these lessons for a reason. We're all learning these lessons as a group that government isn't all that it's supposed to be. Our judicial branch isn't all that it's supposed to be. Our, our social network and system is, is not what it's supposed to be. All these things are all built up on sand foundations. But we as believers and we as true seekers and, and lowly servants of Jesus Christ, we know that we have to have our foundation built on concrete. We know that we have to have blocks under there. We have to have cement. We have to have something. And it all starts with God's word. So enough of that. I want to just let you guys know that discouragement happens in people. It happens in, in, in everybody. But but it's what you do after that. And it's, how, it's what you learn while you're struggling. It's not so much when you're going through the struggle that sucks too i get that but you, all you can do is brace for impact pray read god's word and, and 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 be solidified in your faith that something better is to come but when when the aftermath when everything's done and the aftermath has happened and whatever event in your life has taken you to a really valuable learning lesson you have to look back i know it's a cliche people don't want to look in the rear view mirror but sometimes you have to look back and figure out what the little what was a little uh, kernel of truth in there? What was a little lesson in there for me to learn so I don't do that again or you don't um, have that sort of thing hinder your walk with God? So for me, putting too much obligation on myself, thinking that I have I have something to, to give, you know, because necessarily, or I, don't, I don't necessarily have much to give. I have messages to give and I read out of these books, but 
I, I'm just me. I'm not anybody special. I'm not anybody that deserves anything more than what God has, you know, afforded me and, and allows me to have. But I want to be a marker for other people. I want other people to say, it can be done because this guy did it. So I know that was 10 minutes of rambling, but I want you guys to know that I really, really, really take pride in, in what I do. And I just don't want you guys to... I don't want you guys to, to pass this channel up by the wayside and, and think that it's just, eh, he's just reading from a recovery book because it's so much more to it than that, you know. We do, we send out Bibles. I haven't had a request in a little while, but we, this last summer, we, we sent out quite a few Bibles and I haven't got any requests lately because we had some fra fraudulent stuff happen, but, you know, I, I would like to see more people get their hands on God's Word, whether that's they're going to a library, whether that they're going to the dollar store, whether they're going to... Irish Guy JG's channel, getting a free Bible here, it doesn't, I just think it's important to get people, get the Bible in people's hands, so <clears throat> I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes or a minute here talking to you guys about that, and if you guys know of anybody that needs a Bible, or you yourself need a Bible, please reach out to me, shipping's free, I'll take care of that, don't worry about that, I think it's just more important that you get a handle, or get a hand on a copy of God's Word. And if you're looking for, I have Christian study Bibles, which I don't believe are KJV, but I do have a couple KJV Bibles. I don't have a lot left, but I do have some KJ, KJV Bibles that are slightly used. They came from a church. They're, they're in great shape. I can mail those out as well. Uh, otherwise, the other ones, I don't have one on me, but it, it's a Christian study Bible. It's more of a generic form, and I think it's like an NIV probably. So <clears throat> if you know anybody that's looking, sorry, I'm... <clears throat> coming down to something we got something again again coming through the house <clears throat> it's been brutal but we keep trucking so um the rain doesn't help today being 30 degrees 30 degrees in rain you think it'd be snow so we can <laughs> have to get so wet but anyway so this is my message for the month this is my message for the week this is my message that i just felt like giving because i want you guys to feel inspired and i hope you guys sit through all of this because there's there's a good part in the end here that I really want you guys to hear, but I love you guys. I love everybody that has committed their life to Jesus Christ and, and then some. I don't, I, I don't, I, I love everybody, but people that are on our side and fighting for the good fight and fighting for, for Jesus, you guys all have a special place in my heart and I would assume that I do too <clears throat> with, with other people and I would hope that we could all kind of help, you, help each other out together. And one thing crossed my mind the other day if it was earlier today that if if the power were to go out <clears throat> the power were to go out people would have generators and people would have battery packs and, and saved up batteries and whatever but if the grid went down and somebody pulled the plug on the power for a little while what well, where would you guys be getting your messages because it wouldn't be Irish Guy JG giving you through YouTube it would be you having to read it and getting it for yourself through the Bible so if we if we if you get into a habit of reading God's word and you start to like it and then things really start popping off the page to you, then you know, then you know where to get your messages. They're not, they're not as quite <clears throat> up to date, so to speak with like YouTube and all these other places that gives you messages. But if the grid were to go down, what's the first thing you're going to grab if the grid went down your phone to see if it works. And when it doesn't work, then what are you going to do? You're going to put your phone down and you're going to look for other answers, right? You're going to look for solutions to your problems. And I'm telling you, by picking up this book, God's going to lead you to some scripture. He's going to lead you to some, some solutions that you can meditate and pray on and then formulate an action and put it into action. Put it into action. Read God's word. Come up with a plan. Implement it. Boom. You're done. Let's read from 1 Corinthians. Let's go from 15 to 33. Don't be fooled by those who say such things. If you listen to them, you will start acting like them. Get some sense and quit, quit your sinning. For to your shame, I say it, some of you are not even Christians at all and have never really known God. But someone may ask, how will the dead be brought back to life again? What kind of bodies will they have? What a foolish question. You will find the answer in your own garden. When you put a seed in the ground, it doesn't grow into a plant unless it dies first. And when the green shoot comes up out of the seed, it is very different from the seed you first planted. For all you put into the ground is a dry little seed of wheat or whatever it is you are planting. And then God gives it a beautiful new body, just like the kind he wants it to have. A different kind of plant grows from each kind of seed. And just the, as there are different seeds and plants, so also there are different kinds of flesh. Humans, animals, fish, and birds are all different. 
So the angels in heaven have bodies far different from ours, and the beauty and the glory of their bodies is different from the beauty and glory of ours. The sun has one kind of glory, while the moon and stars have another kind. And the stars differ from each in their other in their beauty and brightness. In the same way, our earthly bodies will die and decay after decay are different from the bodies we shall when we come to life again, for they will never die. The bodies we have now embarrass us, for they become sick and die. Amen to that, right? But they will be full of glory when we come back to life again. So yes, we, they are weak, dying bodies now. But when we live again, they will be full of strength. They are just human bodies at death. But when they come back to life, they will be superhuman bodies. Just as there are natural human bodies, there are also supernatural spiritual bodies. So the scripture tells us that the first man, Adam, was given a natural human body. But Christ is more than that. For he was life-giving spirit. Amen. Amen. I know, I know, it's getting kind of long. The message is getting kind of long, but I just felt like sharing that with you guys. I just, you know, it's just something from my heart. It's just something that was on my mind, and <clears throat> I really like sharing with you guys. And so the channel has been growing, which has been nice, and I hope you guys get these messages. I really hope that somebody's getting something out of them. November 10th, fear or faith? No matter how far we ran, we always carried fear with us. For many of us, fear was a constant factor in our lives before we came to NA. We used, we used because we were afraid to feel emotional or physical pain. Our fear of people and situations gave us a convenient excuse to use drugs. A few of us were so afraid of everything that we were unable to leave our homes without using first. As we stay clean, we replace the fear with a belief in the fellowship, the steps, and the higher power, God. As this belief grows, our faith in the miracle of recovery begins to color all aspects of our lives. We start to see ourselves differently. We realize we are spiritual beings and we strive to live by spiritual principles. The application of spiritual principles helps eliminate fear from our lives. By refraining from treating other people in harmful or unlawful ways, we find we needn't fear how we will be treated in return. As we practice love, compassion, understanding, and patience in our relationship with others, we are treated in turn with respect and consideration. We realize those positive changes result from allowing our higher power to work through us. We come to believe not think, but to believe that our higher power wants only the best for us. No matter what the circumstances, we can find, we can walk in faith instead of fear. Faith instead of fear. Amen. I, just for today, I no longer need to run in fear, but can walk in faith that my higher power, God, has the only the best in store for me. And amen. It's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be the easy road. Sometimes we have to take the high road. Sometimes we have to take the low road. Sometimes you just have to do what God is telling you to do. But walk in faith, not in fear. November 10th, thought for today, I am less self-centered. The world used to revolve around me at the center. I care more about myself, my own needs and my desires, my own pleasures, my own way than I did about the whole rest of the world. That's a fact. What happened to me was more important than anything else I could think of. I was selfishly trying to be happy, and therefore I was unhappy most of the time. I had found that selfishly seeking pleasure does not bring true happiness. Thinking of myself all the time cut me off from the best in life. AA, the body of Christ, tell, taught me to care less about myself and more about the other person. Am I less self-centered? The meditation for today. Oops, sorry. When something happens to upset you and you are discouraged, now listen to this, you guys. When something happens to upset you and, just, and you are discouraged, try to feel that life's difficulties and your troubles are not intended to arrest your progress in spiritual life, but to test your strength and to increase your determination to keep going. Whatever it is that must be met, you are either overcome it or use it. Nothing should daunt you for long, nor should any difficulty entirely overcome or conquer you. God's strength will always be there waiting for you to use it. Nothing can be too great to be overcome, and if not overcome, then used. Prayer for today. I pray that I may know that there can be no failure with God. Amen to that. I pray that this, with his help, I will live a more victorious life. Let's repeat that. I pray that I may know that there can be no failure with God. I pray that it is his help, I may live a more victorious life. Amen. A long message today. I hope you guys... Hope you guys appreciate it and hope you guys like it and 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 um amongst amongst you guys down in the comments you know don't forget to encourage each other and to encourage each other because some of the people that watch the videos and some of the people that comment 
uh, are struggling and you and you might not even know it um, there are quite a few people that I talk to uh, often on YouTube through email through text through calling and some people are <coughs> struggling excuse me so we need to pray for them people and always be kind to people that are on these channels because some of the emails I get are I just you guys you guys have got the wrong impression of what we're trying to do on this channel we're not nobody is trying to fool anybody nobody is trying to use anybody nobody is trying to to use this channel to get money nobody is trying to fraud anybody there are there is nothing like that on this channel so I, I again come to you guys in respect in dignity in truthfulness telling you guys that this channel I want to be used as a marker just like marking out utilities okay I want this channel to be a marker for people to use to get where they're going this isn't I'm not sending you anywhere I'm not telling you that if you live this life you're gonna be fully successful I'm not telling you that but this I want this channel to be a marker for people to come and look at and to be inspired to, to read God's Word or to listen to God's Word or to get in and get your hands on a Bible and find out what that thing has in store for you because I'm telling you what it's changed my life tenfold and in another 10 years it might be a hundredfold because I think we what we do is we keep getting better our lives progress and we keep finding success in new ways and before you know it before you know it your your old sinful self is so far gone and so far dead that you've established a new person a new body we're born again in the in in, in the eyes of Christ so we repent you ask for forgiveness you pray you do all these things and you live right you do good by God's will you do good by his word and whatever he is telling you or showing you we need to follow that and when you don't follow that and you buck the system and you give resistance to God not good things could happen don't hesitate pray be fruitful in your works and 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 we all know that faith without works is dead so we need to back up our faith and we need to have a little faith but we need to back that up with some knowledge where we get in God's word so um it is what it is I'm not going to be discouraged I'm going to keep moving on with this channel uh, no matter how many people tell me to stop I'm not going to stop I'm going to continue it and if it makes you mad I'm sorry um, but you know <laughs> I just want people to find Christ I want people to find a relationship with Jesus Christ and I want them to feel what we feel I want them to feel what I feel I'm not anybody special and I'm not anybody important I just simply have a, a channel and an outlet that I'm using to try and progress people's faith in what can be done if you have a little faith and what you can be done if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So I know I'm rambling and I'm sorry, but you know, I don't make these messages very often, so this one's going to be, I don't know, you know, it's it's not normal for me to do these messages, but you know, I got, I got a couple emails and I had a couple things happen in life and I kind of got a little bit discouraged, but I picked myself up, I deleted the emails, I, you know, got into God's Word and found out what's going on and where we can spiritually progress and, and let the old body die. Let the old self go. Let the sin, sinful self die off and start a, something new from that shell, from, that, from the shoot of the seed coming up through that, our old dead self. Be renewed. Let's start, let's start growing some rose gardens around here and helping each other out helping each other learn and thank you for all the suggestions we're we're trying to do a little prepping right now so we're, we love all your guys's ideas so if you come up with a new idea uh let me know uh nothing's changed on our end we haven't gotten anything yet but we're 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 just waiting we're waiting on the lord is what we're doing so i love you guys god bless you um have a good wednesday and uh, i will speak with you later love you guys i love you all